Oh, hello you four. And this is today's learning journey lesson on Monday the 8th of February. Okay, this is our last week now on this learning journey. So we really want to start thinking about what we're going to include in our meal plan. Okay, so we've been looking at all sorts of things, all sorts of different foods and how they affect our bodies. You've been looking at your own diets and hopefully seeing a difference in how much energy you've got depending on what you've eaten. Okay, so we're going to really start thinking about this design of a healthy meal plan this week. So last week we looked at the balanced meal plate. Uh, we did the sorting activity and we can see that our meals should be made up of mostly fruit and vegetables and potatoes, uh, the carbohydrates and then you've got the smaller protein section, even smaller dairy and alternatives and then the smallest is the oil, oils and spreads. Okay, so you are going to have a sheet that looks like this. I'm going to put this into the portfolio page, okay? And I want you to think about what would make a healthy, balanced meal. So the plate has been divided up for you. So you need, I'd say, two or three portions of fruit and veg, two portions of carbs, one portion of the protein, and one portion of the dairy, and then a little bit of this. So what could it look like? So for example, I could do something fairly straightforward. So on here, I could perhaps do, I could do a salad. It's all separate pieces, isn't it? So if I was doing a salad, I might have that. Oh, I could really get some fruit and vegetables in here. Um, with the salad, I might have some bread on the side with some new potatoes always go nice in a salad um, I'd have a chicken salad but there isn't chicken here so maybe I could have an egg an egg in my salad oh cheese cheese and egg does that go put some cheese there probably not maybe some grated cheese over the top boiled egg on the side a bit like a plowman's maybe I'm going for there and then I might have a bit of butter on my bread okay so if I have a look that would be a fairly balanced meal I'm ticking off lots of my fruit and vegetables for that meal uh, I've got some carbohydrates there I've got some dairy I've got some protein and I've got some butter okay so I want you to have a go at doing that for yourself so it might not be you might have you might think of your favorite meal so for example I like spaghetti bolognese so I could see where all my spaghetti bolognese fits into this meal plan so for example spaghetti bolognese is made up of you might have um, well you've got your meat so your mints that would go in here um, I might sprinkle a bit of parmesan cheese on the top so I could put the parmesan cheese here You've obviously got the spaghetti, the actual spaghetti, which would go here. And then the sauce will be made up of, I know, garlic, that would go in there. Um, tomatoes, I would have, so that's two. Uh, onions, I sometimes some people put mushrooms in there. So I could have four portions of my fruit and veg there. One portion of carbs, a portion of dairy, and obviously the protein from the meat that I would use or if you're vegetarian you might have a corn spaghetti bolognese and then obviously that might be fried in oil you use oil to cook the meat and the onions so I could have that so that would provide me with quite a balanced meal a spaghetti bolognese so it doesn't have to all be separate like I've done here like a salad you could choose something we could choose a roast dinner or I don't know you might like toad in the hole or a stew so try and think of something healthy that's going to have most of your things in here one or two portions in here and then a portion each in there okay all right so that is the aim of what we're going to do at the end of the lesson 
Right, I just want to have a look because also I don't want you to just do the meal plan. I want you to think about why we've included those foods. So we're going to have a look at, we've looked at the balanced meal plate. We've also got something called the nutrient triangle, okay, which we're going to look at in more detail. So just have a look, have a think. I'm going to put something up at the end as well that will help you remember all these. So don't worry too much. Obviously, you can pause in places if you want to make a note of something. So here we've got the seven types of nutrients. We've got carbohydrates. We've got fats. We've got fiber, water, minerals, vitamins, protein. OK, so there's are seven nutrients which we get from food. Really important for our body which we get from our diet. So, for example, the nutrient pyramid. So cereal, so for breakfast, contains fiber, carbohydrates, and vitamins. However, this food is included in the fiber group because it's the main nutrient you get from eating it. Did you know that vegetables contain water? However, we eat them because they are high in vitamins and minerals. But when you eat vegetables, you're also getting water, which is really important in keeping your body healthy right so we've got proteins proteins are important because they help your body to grow and repair itself and there we've got the beans the red meat the eggs the fish okay there's some examples of protein and that is important because it helps your body to grow and repair so what does it exactly do what do we mean by grow and repair so protein builds maintains and replaces the tissues in your body okay so your body's all muscle tissue skin your muscles your organs and your immune system okay so the immune system is what keeps you healthy and fights off infections are made up mostly of protein and your body uses the protein you eat to make lots of specialized protein molecules that have very specific jobs. For instance, your body uses protein to make hemoglobin, something called hemoglobin, which is part of the red blood cells that carries oxygen to every part of your body. Okay, so really important jobs and really important, as I say, that we eat a balanced and varied diet. You can see what eating protein actually does it's got a very important job okay so other pro proteins are used to build cardiac muscle in your heart so in fact whether you're running or just relaxing protein is doing important work like moving your legs moving your lungs and protecting you from disease many foods contain protein but the best sources okay are beef poultry, fish, eggs, dairy products, nuts, seeds, tofu and lentils. Okay, so those are really good sources of protein. Very important job that it's got. Okay, so it's not just we can't eat just all protein. We also need to get carbohydrates because these are the ones that give us our energy. And foods that are high in carbohydrates include bread, pasta, fruit and potatoes. So this is where we get our energy. We've got fats as well. There's good fats and bad fats, which we looked at on Friday. You've got the saturated and unsaturated fats. So these also give you energy and insulate those body parts as well, don't they? Keep them working. So you've got nuts, oils, avocados are a good fat, aren't they? And butter. Okay, vitamins which come from mainly your fruit and vegetables and these keep your body nice and healthy okay and they include oranges carrots beef again and nuts different foods contain different vitamins okay so just because they contain because fruit and vegetables contain vitamins they're not all the same that's why we need to eat a variety of fruit and vegetables so for example vitamin a is found in carrots and spinach and vitamin a helps your eyesight and helps you see in the dark it also helps fight illness in your body okay you've got vitamin b these are um there are many b vitamins and they are in rice fish meat eggs and beans vitamin b helps your body make energy 
Now I tend to take an extra dose of vitamin B because I find it helps me feel more energised. So these sort of foods I need to try and eat a bit more of. Vitamin C from fruits and vegetables, e.g. oranges and Brussels sprouts, and it's important to help your body heal. So when you've got a cold, maybe it's good to probably up your dose of vitamin C from those foods to help you fight it off. And vitamin D, you can get this from milk. Vitamin D helps your teeth and bones to grow and stay strong. You can also get vitamin D from sunlight, which wasn't on there. There are 13 different vitamins in total that your body needs. These were just four of them, although there are many di different types of B vitamin, like six and 12. So also there's something called minerals. Okay, so I keep saying about vitamins and minerals. So minerals also keep your body healthy and they include things like milk, spinach, salt, are included in things milk, spinach, salt and sweet corn. So just like vitamins, there are lots of different minerals our bodies need to stay healthy. Again, iron, this comes from red meat, fish, eggs and beans, as well as many other places. Iron is important to keep your blood healthy. If you don't have enough of this, you become tired. Zinc is found in meat nuts, beans and peas, zinc helps your body get better when you are unwell or injured. So a lot of these things are, you know, we need to help keep us healthy, don't we? And if we do get ill, we need to make even, be even more sure that we are getting this good diet. Maybe when we are ill, though, we don't really feel like eating much. But there's things that where we can, we can probably take some vitamins to help us boost our immune systems. Um, calcium, this comes from dairy products like milk and cheese as well as fish, green vegetables like broccoli and calcium will help your um, teeth and bones grow strong. You could actually see from our experiment with the milk, it um, didn't really do much to the egg, did it? The eggshell, even though it's got a bit of sugar in, the eggshell remained more or less the same. Um, potassium, this is found in bananas, tomatoes, potatoes and many kinds of fruits. Um, potassium keeps your muscles working properly. So lots of different jobs here, isn't there? Really important that we have a good variety in our diets. Really, really important. Um, we've also got water. So water helps to move nutrients in your body and get rid of waste that you don't need. It is an essential nutrient for our survival. While it is really important to drink plenty of water, it is also important to remember that many foods contain water also. So foods that are high in water include tomatoes, cucumber, lettuce, strawberries. Now I know that my son, he's not very good at drinking water, but he does like cucumbers. So I give him rather a lot of cucumbers at times, especially when I notice he's not drinking as much. Okay, um, fibre, we've mentioned fibre before, When we, how important that is for the digestive system because it helps us digest the food and food time fibre, cereals, apples, whole grain bread and lentils. And then finally back to the plate. So after all that, don't worry, there's a lot of information there I went through, but what I would like you to do is just think of a meal and see if you can make it balanced. Put each part of the meal, so for example, I went through the spaghetti bolognese, so I would put the tomatoes, I'd put mushrooms in the sauce, onions, you know, and if you're not sure what's in your, what's in your meal that you're planning, you know, ask, is there a grown up around that you can ask to maybe help you out with that? Um, I'd have the mince meat here, I've got the spaghetti, the actual pasta in this section here in the carbohydrates. Because then what I would like you to think of, when you've planned out your meal, when you've put it all and you've seen, hopefully that you've got a good balance, so you want two or three portions here, two portions here, well I've only got one, so I'd have a larger portion of spaghetti maybe. One portion here, the Parmesan cheese here, so one portion here and one portion there. 
Okay, so we want to think about how that is balanced then, because when you've done that, I'll put this up because there was a lot of information. I want you just to write a couple of sentences about why your meal is balanced and healthy. Okay, so for example, I could put next to or on a separate piece of paper, which could take a photo, I could write, I've included um, beef. This contains protein, which is important for our growth and it will help the body repair itself. I've got pasta and we need pasta because it's got carbohydrates in which we need to be active. Um, I've got my um, vegetables, haven't I? I've got my tomatoes, my onions, my mushrooms. We, they contain vitamins which help us to stay healthy. Okay, I will put this up, this sheet, I will put it up separate as well so you can look at it or you could pause it on this page. Okay, so what you need to do then is design your meal, okay, on that plate, making sure you've got a good balance and then try and have a go at writing a few sentences about why that part of the meal is important. Okay, so what, why have we got that in the meal? And this sheet here will help you to do that, will help you to write your sentences. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Any questions, obviously, you can try and message me on Class Dojo. Um, what we will do tomorrow is we'll have a look again at our meals that we've designed and we'll have a think, you know, have a discussion about them, okay? Because we really want to be heading towards, by the end of this week, having a meal plan. So we'll plan all our meals for one day and we are going to have, at the end, a really healthy balanced day of eating so that will include breakfast it will include lunch it will include dinner and any snacks in between okay and hopefully we will then have answered our learning journey question okay right so i think i'll leave you to get on with that and i will speak to you soon okay bye for now then year four